What up, y'all? So today, I'm going to tell you guys a story. <clears throat> the story of Joey Schwartz. And I had a debate uh, la about two weeks ago. Um, it was just a kind of uh, an unmoderated event that uh, event, uh, unmoderated debate that I um, organized with him after just watching his, a few of his videos. Um, Joey's got a uh, pretty low information. Uh, carnivore hangout kind of uh, YouTube page where everyone just, it's basically uh, a, a, pretty much 100% of the content is anti-vegan. Um, it's not pro-health, it's not health, it's just simply anti-vegan. And Joey, uh, you know, basically lets anyone on his show with a heartbeat and something negative to say about veganism um, and he's got all these just uh, like absolute like misinformation artists on his show. And Joey uses a massive amounts of conjecture. Uh, he cherry picks um, science uh, that fits his agenda. Um, in our first debate, uh, he didn't come prepared. I mean, you could watch it. I'll put the I'll put the link up. He didn't come prepared. He just came with conjecture with, uh, you know, no no empirical data to back up any of his claims that he was saying. He was saying all kinds of crazy stuff. This kid eats only meat and organ meat and drinks milk and, and eggs, and that's it. That's all this kid eats. He doesn't drink water. He doesn't, he doesn't promote exercising. He says that a little bit of walking is fine. Um, there are all kinds of crazy stuff this guy says. But anyway, our first debate uh, was two hours. Joey was not prepared, and he told me he'd never debate me again. I told him, yeah, he probably will. And then after a, a day after our debate, he hit me up and said he wanted to debate again. But he told me I had to behave better. Um, he thought debates were all about um, being polite to each other and, and there, you know, no, no place for hostility or anything like that, which, um, you know, debates get heated. Um, so... So Joey hits me up and he's all, no, I want to debate. He's all, you got to behave better. And I'm all, well, you got to prepare better. Because basically what happened, he showed up unprepared. So the date, the debate went into the trash and it turned into a discussion. And then he didn't like where the discussion was going because it wasn't his planned scripted argument he usually uses all the time. Um, so he got really upset. And I basically, I asked him a bunch of questions about things he's, said on his channel that are absolute like factually incorrect things um like back in the day we used to hunt only slow moving animals and that and that mammoths and woolly woolly mammoths and elephants were slow moving when in reality they they can run up to 35 miles an hour stuff like that just you know him showing his age 19 years old um so the second debate happened um, Joey shows up, wants to change the premise at the last minute, which is something he does with everyone, which is something he did with Vegan Gains. It's such a, something I think he did with Nutrivore. Um, he wanted to change the premise. Suddenly, he wasn't a carnivore anymore. He simply wanted to argue uh, the omnivore position, just omnivore, which was not what I spent two weeks preparing for. Um, you know, you, 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 I have, I have, uh, I have, um, basically I have a text from Joey. The last thing, the last premise we agreed on was, was the importance or lack of importance of fruits and vegetables in the diet. Basically a carnivore versus vegetarian, vegan, plant-based argument. Because all these carnivores are saying you don't need fruits or vegetables. And Joey here is the, uh, the, uh, the, the carnivore influencer on YouTube with 25,000 views with the, all his videos getting 50,000 plays. <clears throat> so, so Joey shows up. And I'll, I'll show you. This is the, unfortunately, so this is what Joey says once we get into the backstage of the Crucible, where which is, okay, so... 
Joey was saying I was misbehaving and I said Joey wasn't prepared. So I went and contacted the guys from The Crucible. The Crucible is a debate YouTube channel where they host moderated debates. It's a really cool channel. And they do a lot of uh, animal based versus vegan arguments. So I, I hit them up and asked if they wanted to do it. And they said, yeah. And I was I was trying to get Joey to do it. And he didn't want to at first. He's like, why can't you just like behave? And I was like, why can't you just come prepared? You know, like you didn't come you didn't come with any data to to back up any of the claims you were making. Um, and that's not what a debate is. And and then you said we weren't going to debate again. So what what was the point of debating anymore? So anyway. So finally, I get Joey to agree to do com, uh, the Crucible. So we get on. So a week, week and a half goes by. I, um, we, we agree to the premise of the lack of importance or importance of vegetables, vegetables and fruit in the diet, which is basically a carnivore versus vegan or vegetarian plant-based diet. We get to the backstage of... Um, we get backstage and immediately Joey starts saying he wants to change the premise and talk about the premise. And I just spent, you know, on, on this, on the, the crucible, you have a seven minutes in the beginning to have an opening statement. I wrote an opening statement against the carnivore diet, um, which was what we had agreed on. So we get there and he changes it. And, and so he completely changes his position from our last debate to okay hold on so but i want to be fair to both parties and this this is from my understanding what was agreed to yeah i, I think that's right i i i, I will defend animal base but i won't defend carnivore is what i'm saying um, because, I, I, like I said, I don't think it's best for every single stage of life or every single person. I would do animal-based. That seems like it's fine so, to pleasure. So, backstage, so Joey starts changing the premise. So, we're talking, and then Allie told me, you should probably record this. So, I pulled out my phone, and I just recorded basically that last piece where Joey says, he wants to, de he wants to defend just the meat eater position, someone who eats 50% meat and the rest fruits and vegetables. Um, and, and so I'm like, but that's not what we agreed to. And that's not what I'm prepared for. And this is what you did last time, Joey, you showed up to our debate, not prepared. Um, you know, and so, so since we were there already, I basically told Andrew, Oh, the other reason we picked the crucible is that, Joe, so Joey didn't want to use the crucible. And I was like, dude, go look at their channel. They're all anti vegans. Like you'll be, you'll be, you'll have a moderator that's ultimately going to be biased at the end of the day. Right. So, so Joey finally is like, oh, okay. Cause I think he went and he looked and he saw like, oh, wow. You know, this guy is really anti vegan. So, so I tell An Andrew's like, Andrew's like, you know, at this point, kind of irritated because Joey's changing the premise because I had two weeks before told Andrew the premise. This place marker was put up on the carnivore camaraderie or on the crucible page. So Joey had plenty of time to see this and hit me up and say, hey, is that what we're doing? Because I want to change now. Uh, or anything like that, or even hit up the crucible and be like, can you change that? Because like, like he, he had all the time in the world to change the premise. He, you know, could have texted me at any time. And instead he waits till we get backstage at our debate to change the premise that which invalidates all the information I came with the, the two days I spent writing an opening statement, you know, um, so, so. So Andrew's a little upset, but then, but he's just like, all right, well, Jeffrey, I mean, it's up to you if you want to go ahead and go through, you know, if you want to change, I mean, Joey was just saying he wasn't going to do it unless it was this. So since we were there, I was like, all right, well, I'll just run what I brung. It's exactly what I said. I'll run, run, but I want run, run what I brung and we will see what happens. So we get in to, uh, to do the debate and, um, 
And uh, Vegan Gaines actually watched the debate, too. Um, he liked my uh, opening statement, but then didn't like the rest of my argument. But anyway, uh, so Joey, so I, I, since I was the challenger, I got to open with my opening statement. Um, and if you want, I can read it to you. Um, I think it's here. So that's not it. So, so I got to start because I was, uh, Joey 2.0, that's it, because I was the challenger. And this was my opening statement I read. Um, plants are an integral and essential part of the human diet from inhibiting the formation of disease to fighting cancer, treating illness and nourishing our gut biome. Today, I believe Joey is here to defend an indefensible position and all carnivores are here to defend an indefensible position that fruits and vegetables are the cause of disease and mortality. To eliminate plant foods from our diet is to restrict our ultimate potential uh, for health. To say plant foods have been well studied would be an underestimate or uh, understatement. We have decades of high quality studies showing the, po the positive impacts of a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Both the increase in consumption of plant foods and the decrease in consumption of animal foods has shown to improve health and longevity. Eating more plants and less animals, animal products has shown to not only prevent disease, but also improve outcomes and survival for cancer patient, patients, uh, induced healthy weight loss and improved body mass index. In addition, our bodies require regular intake of dietary fiber and vitamin C, most of which are not present in animal foods. The oxidant, antioxidant properties and anti-inflammatory effects of plants in the diet simply cannot be ignored, especially as the body of science grows larger about the plant food, plant-based diet. Um, so... Uh, you know, colon cancer is the second leading cause, cause of death in men. Uh, phytates in plant food present, prevent uh, colon cancer. Uh, it's been found in countries for a hundred for a hundred years uh, that it lowers colon cancer. Um, dietary fiber and survival in women with breast cancer, like there's there's all kinds of stuff, you know, meta analysis, and so. Joey, in our debate, showed up with this debate. We were we were debating longevity, plant based versus carnivore longevity. Joey showed up with a study that is like meat causing uh, longevity. Some study, he said it was a meta study, and it wasn't. It was a cross cut, which is farther down the uh, the uh, hierarchy of empirical data. Um, so. Joey's just like, since I since I basically outed him, or since he came on our debate and lied about that study being a meta study, because I was I was offering him nothing but meta analysis, and he had nothing but like clinical trials and animal testing and like all these ridiculously low, um, you know, there's there's a hierarchy of evidence, and the strongest evidence has the most. Ev you know, the strongest data has the most evidence and research behind it. And those are meta-analysis and systemic reviews. Joey, his best argument he came with was a cross-sectional study that's basically, if you go read it, is one of the most biased-sounding thing, biased studies I've ever read in my life. So Joey's doing cross-sectional animal trials and case reports down here. And I brought him nothing but meta-analysis. And I explained that to him. And he... um didn't seem to understand that why my studies were more important or more factual, evidentiary-wise, than his. And so Joey doesn't even understand the hierarchy of scientific evidence. Um, so I give my opening statement. Joey, uh, Joey... Joey gives his statement, which is um, his pre-written, scripted, you know, five minutes that he gives to everyone where he runs through about 16 or 17 clinical trials and 
uh, lab tests and, um, you know, nothing at all, which is a meta study or anything that has been, um, you know, scientist scientifically done multiple times, you know, recreated under science, like nothing, basically just a bunch of opinion, opinion, basically opinion and conjecture and ad hominem. I mean, dude, the kid's like, the kid appeals to authority, appeals to the crowd. He appeals to ridicule. He does all the things. He grabs his face and says, this is so crazy, you know, like in a debate, which are things you just don't do in a ba- debate. So, 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 uh, Joey's, uh, five minute things over. Right. And me and Andrew are kind of like, whoo, okay. So, so from what I remembered, he was, he was using a bunch of just, you know, just BS facts. And I started, you know, kind of, uh, discussing that with him. And then he started, uh, dumping more of his bad studies on me. And I was like, look, dude, you need to slow down. I don't know if you've ever done a debate before, but you go over things one at a time. And that's when Andrew, who's biased, jumps in and is like, yeah, 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 man, you need to calm down. I agree. Like, because the moderator wasn't moderators supposed to stop people and slow them down and stop two people from arguing or, you know, like when there's an impasse, they're supposed to be like the referee. So once I finally pointed out that the referee wasn't doing his job because he's a biased carnivore, um, Andrew finally jumped in and was like, yeah, dude, you need to like, we're trying to go over these things once at a time. And so Joey was all "All right, well, you know, uh, carnivore, you know, uh, carnivores have this specific type of uh, acidity uh, in their uh, gut biome and humans have that. And I was like, "Okay, where's your study that proves that? And he's like, oh, my God, I can't believe what you everyone knows this. Everyone knows this, that that the the you know, that the uh, gut acidity is like one or two percent um, in uh, in, uh, you know, it was just he kept saying one or two percent, one or two percent. And everything I looked up, all the studies I looked up um, was saying four or five, you know, three, four five. So I was like, give me a study. And he gave me a study that was a clinical trial. And um, not a meta-analysis of multiple analysis, a study of studies of studies, a study of hundreds of studies, which is what the information I was bringing him. And the whole point in our first debate, I brought four studies that were the basis of my argument. And I presented them all to Joey and told him the next time we debate, that's when we get to debate these facts in these studies, right? Right. And he was like completely lost on what a debate was. So multiple times in our in our debate, you can go watch it right now. In our first debate, Joey says, uh, you know, that I have to explain to Joey that like because he kept giving me studies and he's all, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? And that wasn't what I was doing to him. I'm like, how am I supposed to think anything about it? You just gave it to me. I clearly need time to go check it out. That's why we do multiple debates. And he's all, oh, I'm never debating you again. I'm never debating. You know, so it's like, okay, then there's no point to debating. Then we're going to have a discussion and I'm going to get hostile. And that's basically what happened for the rest of that debate. Joey you know, completely blindsided, not knowing what to say or do and just repeating stuff over and over again and appealing to ridicule and appealing to the crowd. So anyway, so I really, you know, at that point, it made no sense for me to even be in this debate anymore because I'm not, I didn't prepare to debate an omnivore guy. I prepared to debate carnivore camaraderie, aka Joey Schwartz, the carnivore guy who only promotes eating meat and eggs and milk and not doing exercise and and being this 19 year old carnivore diet influencer on YouTube. You know, like I went to debate him about the things that are on his that the things he's saying on his channel. But he doesn't want to talk about anything from his channel. He wants to have this. He wants to have this not as easy argument because he realizes that he has no science backing up his carnivore BS, which none of you people have any science backing up your carnivore BS. 
Um, you know, most reasonable carnivores will admit that, but Joey's not going to because he's been locked in an echo chamber of Joe Rogan groupthink cult of personality doublespeak, everybody telling each other these misinformation as if it's real, not anyone even knowing what a meta study is. So anyway, we're going, we're back into the second debate and Joey again I bring up the fact that the that the uh, acid study, the stomach acid study he gave me was a clinical trial and um, and how the three studies that I produced in that same time, I th I produced three meta studies that said that he was wrong. And so Joey's like, what are you talking about? Wrong. My study says it's he didn't understand the hierarchy of ev of scientific evidence. He thought that his studies from down here were as strong as my studies from up here. And this happened to him um, with uh, Nutrivore. Holy cow, go find that video. Nutrivore versus CC, carnivore camaraderie. Talk about Joey getting his ass handed to him in a debate. Um, Nutrivore is five times better debater than I even, and, um, you know, even a bad, even a bad debater like me could beat Joey, um, because he only brings conjecture, uh, and fallacy to, uh, uh fallacy and ad hominem and just, uh, non-information, just wishful thinking, basically. Joey's 19 and has, like, compacted fat on the front of his chest and he's not doing anything about that at 19 years old. And he's probably pre-diabetic, at least close to being diabetic at this point. Um, so, so Joey's fighting me on this uh, stomach acid issue very hard. He's all, no, we need to go back to the stomach acid issue, right? And so, uh, so they look at, so we look at all the all the the, stu the studies about stomach acid. The three I brought are meta studies. Joey brought a clinical trial. So it's like, okay, where are we going at this point? So Joey ignores the fact that I just beat him empirically and just keeps wanting to stay on the stomach acid, even though I beat him. And so Andrew, the moderator, who's a carnivore, who's biased to carnivore, is like, all right, look, dude, um, I'm gonna just do an executive decision and call this off. Um, you know, clearly uh, it, it's not my fault, but you guys, you know, needed to, and, and this is what happened. You know, Joey basically uh, sabotaged this by again preparing, you know, I, I, I hit up Joey and I was like, look, dude, this isn't just me on my YouTube page anymore. This is like, People will be watching. There'll be uh, hundreds of people in the chat. We have a moderator who knows how to debate, who isn't going to let you get away with all this stuff that I let you get away with on my channel. Because um, Joey very quickly showed me he had no idea how to debate. So I stopped the debate and I, I made it into a discussion. And, um, and so basically, Andrew stopped the debate because he's like, this isn't a debate. Um, Joey didn't even have like a legitimate art. Oh, wait, Joey's... Joey's argument ended up being a bunch of anti-vegan facts that him and his buddies talk about um, in, uh, you know, in their in their little message boards about carnivore, you know, the carnivore diet. It's super crazy. Um, so, you know, this kid uh, is really um, not doing anyone any favors. I would be really upset if I was a carnivore um, dieter. And I had this guy out there ruining the reputation of science and basically denying science. He's basically making, basically, basically carnivore, carnivore dieters are like flat earthers, <laughs> basically like it's hilarious, uh, cherry picking information and knowingly, knowingly cherry pick wrong information to fit your agenda. That's what Joey does. That's all he does in his videos. And, you know, go watch, go, I mean, don't watch his videos. <clears throat> Please don't watch his videos. But if you want to watch one to see um, one of the most ridiculous interviews of two absolute 
like just absolutely no scientific information, massive amounts of conjecture and opinion presented as fact. Watch my uh, review of uh, it's basically two. It's called two teenage carnivore. Uh, influencers destroy vegan couple. Watch that on my channel if you want to see how ridiculous uh, the information is over on Joey Schwartz's page. You carnivores should be irate and embarrassed over this guy, and you guys should completely get rid of him because he's not helping anyone. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Peace.